I want to show you the case for Raspberry Pi 4 I designed. It's full 3D printed, and this keyboard you can buy on AliExpress. It's cheap. It can show the power level. And I turn it on. As you can see, it almost fully charged. It has compartment for micro SD and other stuff. Also, we can take our micro SD from here. Those things are printed out of a flexible filament. Feels quite nice. It is stable. One thing worth mentioning is that I have Creality CR10 S4 3D printer and I didn't change any settings in it, so settings are all factory settings. So the thing is that it printed it out 2 millimeters short in X axis. That means that it should be 2 millimeters wider than it is now. And that is why you can see these ugly edges, because I cut it with a sharp blade and with a mini drill. So be careful and check everything before printing. Measure your keyboard before printing. Check the dimensions on your 3D printer, whether it prints out correctly. In such a big object, I didn't want to print it again because I already have uh, failed prints and it is about 200 grams of filament and it is about 20 hours of printing, so it would be just a waste of filament and time. Another thing to keep in mind is that Raspberry Pi won't fit in this 90 degrees angled uh, enclosure part because when you're trying to fit connectors which are sticking out here and they're sticking out here it won't fit in there just you can it won't allow you to put it in place so i just bent this wall of the enclosure and snapped it in place i managed to do this because i didn't glue this piece on top and i glued this piece on top only when I had everything set in place and I suggest you to do the same otherwise it will be a trouble assembling this also there is no this hole I just drilled it so in the file it doesn't exist everybody has their own switches and LEDs so you will probably need to edit this file I'm not even entirely sure why am I uploading this file because probably everybody has their own keyboards and stuff the only universal thing is the place where you put your Raspberry Pi so this you might need and everything else matches so only here you will probably have no trouble now let's try to disassemble it and look how it is built As you can see, I partly disassembled the keyboard and glued to it 3D printable parts, which allow me to secure it in place. Here is BMS for lithium ion cells. Here are nine of them. And here is the step down back converter. And here is the controller for this uh, power level bars, which show us the battery level. And they are connected by three batteries in parallel. It makes up about 12.6 volts. We can measure it by using a voltage divider with two resistors and then we can see what's the charge of one cell. If it is about 4.2, it will light up all the LEDs. And here we can see it is about 4.1 volts in each cell. 
this thing is uh, directly soldered into the board directly to the bottom so I blocked this USB port so I cannot accidentally put anything in it and those are just power managing rails just to connect everything to charge it I use a power supply from a cheap 3D printer which was left to me after I rebuilt this printer it has exactly 12.6 volts so I just charge it with it I can clearly see when the cuffs is pressed because I see those LEDs through the enclosure also this thing was printed separately and glued on top of this construction because it is way easier to print in such a manner because I don't want just too many screws in here and I don't want a lot of support in here and again I could easily print it like this but I would need to spend a lot of time searching for settings for appropriate support to make it like like a tree or like in 45 degrees for example like this because it would be just all construction is like one piece of support I would print it the entire day let's try to turn it on and see how it works I'm going to boot up RetroPie so we won't need our mouse quite a convenient thing all the micro SDs are in one place and always on our hand As you can see, it works just fine. 